Hey guys, I'm Trent with GuitarAnimal.com and today we're in our studio with a couple of really cool guitars. I have a PRS DGT, Dave Grissom Trem model, which is gorgeous, beautiful guitar. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare this to a much less expensive PRS guitar. We're going to be looking at the S2 Standard Satin, which is an excellent guitar as well. And I'm going to play some things on each one of the guitars so you guys can hear the differences in them and the similarities in them and see what you think. So first up is the Dave Grissom, so let's listen to a little riff on this. Alright, for that sound, what I'm using is a neck pickup on the Stave Grissom model. And I have all the tone controls rolled up on just full on, using a little bit of a pickup booster by Seymour Duncan, just a little bit, probably a few dB of gain there, just to you know kind of give it a little bit of bump. And I'm playing through the normal Black Star amp that I use here, which is the HT5R uh, with a Celestian speaker installed. You can hear that one in a lot of my videos. But this guitar, really nice round sound. <laughs> This particular one's a 2011 model, so it does have the lacquer finish on it. Feels great. But uh, I want to compare this heads up with my other guitar here. So let's see what that sounds like. All right, guys. So what we're looking at here is a Paul Reed Smith S2 standard in satin. It's a 22 fret guitar. It's a big hunk of mahogany. It's excellent, excellent guitar. And I'm going to play it heads up against the Dave Grissom we've been looking at. So let's play the same exact things. Neck pickup, same boost. has excellent tone. The playability, the fretwork and everything is exactly the same as what you see on the Grissom guitar. This one has a satin finish, so it's a little bit different feel on the back, but I still like it. Very smooth playing. Uh, the tone is great. I noticed no difference in the tone as far as quality. It's a slightly different sound because it does have different pickups. The Grissom, of course, has his Dave Grissom signature pickups. These are the 8515s and they're import versions. I will tell you, when I first got this guitar, I felt that I would have to change the pickups in it. However, that's not the case. The proprietary pickups that Paul Reed Smith designed to be made in Korea by the GMB company there, fantastic pickups. I see no reason to change these at all. They sound great. Matter of fact, the only things I've changed on this guitar, besides it being stock, are I switched the knobs to the amber color. I did change the potentiometer to a PRS USA potentiometer. Not that there was anything wrong with the import, but I felt that maybe I could get a little bit of benefit for, you know, as I'm going through the different, I use my volume a lot, and as I go through the different uh, settings on it, that I might pick up a little bit of a benefit, and, and maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. There was a full-size pot in there, I will tell you. I was surprised by that. It was Korean made, but it was full-size pot. I did not change the tone pot because it's fine. It has a switching system on it. Also, a surprise I found when I did get into the guitar, one thing, these guitars are routed for a third pickup in the middle. If you want to do that, you could put a third humbucker in there. But more surprisingly is the circuit that's on the push-pull circuit is the exact same circuit that I saw inside the Grissom guitar. It has the, the resistor network in there for the split sounds, so that was a surprise. I didn't expect to see that in here. All right, so that was uh, the neck pickup that I was playing there. We'll go to the bridge pickup, see what it sounds like. Full humbucker arm. <laughs> Alright, we're going to look at some of the uh, single coil sounds here. Single coil on the bridge. Single 
och Sjönäk. Check out what the Grissom's got. All right, so now we're back to the Dave Grissom model guitar. We're going to play a little bit of chords here on the, the bridge pickup, see what it sounds like using the same boost, but uh, not too much boost, just a little bit. So let's check it out here. Nice and full sounding. Split pickups, bridge pickup. Pick up split. sounding guitars really like them uh, the quality again is the same on both of them the the feel of the neck the playability is there obviously this guitar is a lot more expensive Dave Grissom guitar street price of four thousand to forty five hundred dollars new even used they're thirty five hundred and up so it's a very expensive guitar but really nice guitar now for you guys that don't have that kind of coin no big deal because I'm gonna tell you I play the S2 more than I play the Grissom, and I'm every bit as happy with that. So, if you can't afford the coin for this one, the S2 is great. I'm going to pull it up one more time and give you a workout on it. All right, guys, so we're back to the S2 now. Now what we're going to do is look at the clean sound. So I'll either switch over to clean sound on my amp. I'm on neck pickup, clean. to the bridge pickup clean. Both pickups together. And both pickups together split. split bridge pickup split all right next up the Grissom all right guys so now this is going to be the Grissom guitar Clean amp, got some, got the uh, neck pickup by itself. Bridge pickup. Both 
pickups together. Split the pickups, neck pickup by itself. Bridge pickup split. Both pickups together split. So I think what you've probably heard there is definite differences in these pickups compared to the S2. I could definitely hear a big difference in pickup sound on the clean setting. I also noticed when I split the neck pickup, this one tended to darken up a little bit. So again, these pickups are the Dave Grissom pickups, came stock with the guitar, and it is a different animal with those pickups. So if you're gonna be playing a lot of clean work, you're definitely gonna hear a difference between the pickups in this and the uh, pickups that you're gonna see in the S2. So let's go back to the S2 and finish up with that. All right, guys, so we're back on our S2 guitar. Again, this is the Satin Standard 22. Great guitar. Uh, for clean sounds, we really noticed a big difference between the Dave Grissom pickups or the Dave Grissom guitar and this guitar. Uh, this one's a little less sophisticated sounding, a little less expensive sounding per Debbie. This still has a great sound for, for clean work. Very nice. All right, so again, if you've got the coin, the Dave Grissom guitar is a great guitar. It's gonna set you back about $4,000, $4,500. Is it worth it? Yes, love it. We have one, we love it. Uh, this particular guitar, the S2, is a great working man's guitar. Although, hey, if you wanna get $1,000 to spend, this is a great guitar. And use prices on this, you know, in about 850 range. Uh, the pickups that are stock in it are good enough to keep in there. You don't really need to change it. You might wanna swap out the tone or the uh, volume pot, but not really a need if you don't want to do it because I didn't notice a huge difference maybe like a 10% difference or something a little bit more variation in the flavors I can get as I go through the different ranges if you don't use your volume very much change the sound probably wouldn't need to do it at all but I like to drop down to five four three range sometimes and you get a little bit more differences in tone when you do that with the USA pot it's about a ten dollar part easy to put on there it's just on a pick guard so pretty easy to install that I'm Trent with GuitarNimal.com. Comments in the section below. Let me know what you think of these two guitars. We love them both. One for each hand is the way to go.